guys so today I'm going to be doing my first makeup tutorial on this look right here I am so excited to be filming this for you guys um I've always always since like little kid when I started watching makeup tutorials on YouTube I've always dreamed of having my own makeup tutorial and having my own equipment and stuff and I finally have it and now I'm able and have the have the ability to make these videos I love I had so much fun doing this and I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different um I haven't seen too many people doing this I'm gonna try it for the first time if I don't like it then you guys are gonna have a green screen behind you as your background um I tried it because I saw some really good um really cool backgrounds in the internet and they were like moving and stuff so I was like why don't I put my green screen up to see if this looks cool but if it's too distracting then I just you, you guys are gonna have a green background that's cute right I guess not really but let's just roll with it so I'm really excited to be filming for this for you guys I am really just I don't know I want this channel to grow I feel I wanna I wanna make people feel comfortable in this channel and I know there's going to be so much haters that are going to come and try to bring me down. But if this is what I want to do, I'm not going to let anybody stop me. Because chase for what you want, you know. Don't let anybody or anything stop you from what you want. And once you get there, keep going. Because nothing stops. You can keep going step by step, going up that ladder. I, I feel like... Either my intro or my outro always gets inspirational. But this is my first makeup tutorial. I hope I'm focused. I hope you love it. And if you like it, thumbs it up, subscribe, comment, share the video. And yeah, this is a little different. It's like a kind of like pinky, um, smoky eye kind of. I want a little dramatic for my first look. And yeah, if you want a more natural look, then comment down below. And comment down below any suggestions that you guys might want for my next video so I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look and yeah enjoy whoa enjoy the other videos I have coming for you guys thank you guys so much for watching so this is the look we're going for um it's kind of like a number of pinks oh I'm out of frame it's kind of like a number of pinks and grays so yeah through it so the first thing i'm gonna use is the bh let's see the bh cosmetics um what is this shadow base and fawn this is a shade darker than my um lid so i it's darker a little bit but i still wear it because it works fine so i'm just gonna get it on my finger like this. i'm gonna put this on my um on my lid So, that's what I'm going to do for the base. Um, I totally recommend this product. It's kind of like a dupe of the MAC paint pot. But, yeah. So, I like to start with the crease. So, I'm going to use two palettes for the crease. The first palette is my Holy Grail palette. I definitely recommend this palette so much. It's by BH Cosmetics. And it's this one the neutral eyes 28 color eyeshadow palette and i'm and this my it has my favorite highlight color and my favorite um transition color this is my baby right here this transition color right here amazing like it's amazing and then this highlight color it's like the perfect highlight color so i'm gonna start with my transition color on a fluffy brush and most of my makeup is bh because i just love me some BH, so I'm gonna be using the 101 brush. It's very fluffy, very easy to use. So I just pat the product and I tap off. Put this on my crease, in my crease, and work in circular motions back and forth. So this color is gonna help us blend all of the other colors that are going to be placed on the crease 
Next, I'm going to be taking my Lorac palette. This is the Love Lust Lace palette. And I'm going to be using lace. Um, This color is very good. It's um a matte brown. Very pigmented. So I just dab it in there. Oh, not in there, girl. In here. <laughs> And I tap it off because that's very pigmented. So I'm going to be placing this color like this. And I'm going to be placing this color with a packed brush, a more compact brush. Not a very fluffy brush because it's going to look very messy. So a more packed brush. And pat that in my crease. like that then i'm going to take a very black color from this palette it's called that name i do not know how to pronounce it and we're going to take this color in a pointy uh crease brush by bh and that other brush by bh and just tap this in here tap it off so work that in the outer edge and i like to do cat um cat eye shape so i'm just gonna do that cat eye shape just like that bring it in anymore and then i'm gonna take this double sided brush by bh that's the brush it's amazing i really like it and i use the white side I'm just gonna blend those two, that dark brown and black together. So you wanna freaking blend your life away. And a good tip, you don't have to blend that much if you have a good blending brush. If you don't have a good blending brush, you're going to be blending for the rest of your life. But if you have a good blending brush and good technique, you don't have to blend that much. Um, BH Cosmetics brush, affordable, beautiful, and perfect for blending. Um, and I just work in motions like this and motions in circular. And it really blends my eyeshadow out pretty fast. Then, if you seem like, oh my god, this is not blending out, get your fluffy blending brush once again, and the, re what's the residue of your transition color, use that to help you blend out more. This look, I know we're way past, like, Valentine's Day, but for next year, you can wear this look for Valentine's Day. And you can wear this look whenever you want to. Your eye. And just a look at your previous. Are they similar? Mm -hmm. Got a little bit more black over here. And now we're going to go on to the colors of your look. And I'm going to be using this Wild at Heart palette. I'm going to be using this because I haven't used this a lot. And I'm going to be using only three colors from here. And these three colors. Beautiful light pink, beautiful hot pink, and beautiful gray. These. And I'm going to put this in my inner corner, outer, middle. Just like it's over here. Inner middle outer and we're gonna do that you can use these baked eyeshadows wet or dry i'm gonna use them wet because i want to get the maximum amount of of um pigment drops i use eye drops all the time um i use these this kind of looks um kind of ratchet but it's okay um these are the eye drops i use i think any eye drops would work and I just get the eye drops and I just put it in there. Um, then I put my brush in this. I 
I packed that on there really nice and I pat and then take your fuchsia pink color that same brush and put that in the middle And I'm literally packing this color in there so much. It's like crazy. And this gray is going to blend with the crease colors. Now, to do not have those harsh lines that you see that divide the colors, all I'm going to do is take a, um, a detailing brush and I'm going to go in between the lines and blend that out. I'm gonna take this double, double brush again, focus, yes, and I'm gonna blend that pink. So we're gonna I think this eye looks pretty good right now. I am going to go back a little bit with that black and just keep blending that crease because I want the seamless ombre between those two, you see? Now I'm going to clean up my look. I'm going to get a makeup wipe and I'm just going to Clean it up. You could have also just used like tape. Okay, the last thing you want to do is highlight. So I'm just gonna use this concealer brush. This is um a brush from Wet n Wild. They're new vegan beautiful brushes that I'm in love with. So this is like kind of like the small concealer brush. So I'm going to use my Holy Grail highlight color, as I was telling you guys, from the Neutral Palette. This color right here, guys. Okay, baby, focus. Kyle, you know. This color is amazing to highlight. So I'm just going to take on there some color. And just going to put that in my inner corner. This is not my normal like highlighting brush, so it kind of looks weird, but I'm just gonna blend it out with that fluffy brush so it doesn't look weird. Okay, now I'm going to do my eyeliner. I use my baby, um, my, okay, come on. My tattoo liner, oh, it's upside down. My tattoo liner by, you know who, Cap on D and Trooper. And yes, this is, this eyeliner is perfect for beginners, really. It's amazing. Look at that tip. It makes it so easy. You can just draw. It's literally just drawing on your eye. And I'm just going to create. That's my wing. And I'm going to do my eyelashes now. I'm going to take my primer. This is the Master Prime but face studio um blur smooth by maybelline but i like it because it's moisturizing and it's refreshing to my face and then i'm going to be using the clinique beyond perfecting um foundation i use this in nine neutral this foundation is a two-in-one foundation it's concealer and foundation and it's best foundation i've ever used um i haven't used that many foundations to be honest with you but out of the ones that i did use it's a really good foundation Just
Then I'm going to take my favorite concealer. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Maybelline Fit Me. And medium. I love this concealer. I can never find it though. It's never at the store. Unfortunately, it's like never at the store. Just this the foundation covered mostly everything, so I don't really need to cover any imperfect imperfections again. I'm just covering it on my chin. Just like that. Just so it highlights a little bit. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my fit me on my Rimmel stay matte and my powder brush for underneath the eyes. I like to set this quickly because I don't like it to crease. So let's set that. Oh, I poked myself in the eye. And then I'm going to take this brush, big kabuki brush. With that, I'm going to set the rest of my face. Okay, so that's set. Now we're going to do the contour. I'm going to use my contouring brush by BH and my Forever Nude palette and mix these two. And, whoa, that means dirty. And just bronze or contour, whatever. Just like that. And then I'm going to do blush. Take this brush blush from that same forever nude sculpt and glow palette so now I'm going to do highlight <laughs> I'm gonna take this bare minerals focus bare minerals eyeshadow and a new beach, yes. Okay, this eyeshadow is pretty. I like it. Some on the cap. Put some on the cap. Get your fan brush. Take some. Tap off. And put on your cheekbone. I know it looks a bit harsh. Don't worry. I'm just like making kind of a rough draft but that eyeshadow is going to give you such a glow it's like crazy and stippling brush just so we can blend all of that out and do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? It's done. So I'm going to do my eyebrows. I use the Salon Perfect Focus. Okay, okay. The Salon Perfect Brow Pomade and Light Brown. Recording. Now I'm going to do my eyebrow and take my e.l.f. Small Angled Brush. And I'm going to just go in. And use your spoolie to blend out the harsh lines. I could do better, but I just don't want to ruin it more. And then I'm just going to do the other. Okay. 
gonna blend out with spoolie blend out and we're gonna finish doing our eyes I'm gonna get a gel eyeliner just so I can line my using the Maybelline gel eyeliner with like a little brush like this I'm just gonna line my waterline And I'm gonna take my Wild at Heart palette and this brush right here and do my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna take the pink first and put that in my inner. Lash line. And here. Gonna go quick. My camera's gonna die. So for my lips, I'm going to do four things. I'm gonna use this Bare Minerals lipstick and Moxie. Oh wait, and Break Away. This is um a mini lipstick, uh, and it looks like this that's the swatch it's just natural don't want to go too heavy because the the eyes are kind of smoky I'm gonna use the Milani the pencil and spice and the Lorac lip gloss and stunner so that's the stuff I'm gonna use for my lips I'm gonna start out with the liner first I'm just going to fill in my lips. So that's the lip liner. Then you're going to get the lipstick. I hate the smell of this lipstick, but I love the color of it. So. And so lipstick I'm gonna go in with my lip gloss I don't like overlining my lips I just feel like it doesn't look good and then the last thing I'm going to be doing is you setting my face and follow the setting spray by hard candy it's the only setting spray I have so I'm gonna use this one I really want to get the urban get a K one so I'm just gonna set my face and yeah so guys that was my first makeup tutorial for you guys i hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed the other videos coming for you guys leave video requests down below um uh, thumbs up my video and if you want more videos then subscribe i would really love it if you guys subscribe i hope you like the green screen uh i don't know if it's gonna work out but let's hope to the lord it does yeah. Okay, bye guys. See you later. Mwah.